Hi guys, my name is Maggie. I am a closet organizer as well as stylist based in Toronto. You can find me at Essential Styling Teal on Instagram. And today we are gonna start a new series. So I did post on my Instagram right before New Year's asking people if they are interested of watching my reaction videos because I am obsessed, obsessed with watching uh, reaction videos so I figured why not watch closet related videos and you guys can see my reactions we can kind of go through it together and this can also be a fun video for you guys because for me it is definitely lots of fun I think this is something I'm gonna be doing a lot because I'm really excited because this is exactly what I do watch on my spare time so without further ado let's get into this first reaction video so there is a company called Coveter. If I'm saying it wrong, please correct me. But I know it's a Toronto-based company, but now they also operate in New York. Uh, it is a fashion uh, brand. It's almost just like Vogue uh, or Who I Wear. And they have a new series on their Instagram and also their uh, YouTube channel that is called Closet Tour. So I have not watched any of them because I kind of been saving them for this video because I'm super excited and I think it's just a fun video to go through. And I can kind of break it down for you guys in terms of the aesthetic, the functionality, if this closet is practical. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel because I would love to make more videos for you guys. And please like this and share. Liking is best because it tells YouTube the algorithm of my videos and that I am actually doing something um, fun. Uh, and it boosts my video app for me, more people to see it. So if you guys can please do me a favor, please like. Um, share this video if you guys can. I will truly, truly appreciate it. So the first video we're gonna watch, it's uh, the closet tour of uh, Bianca Miro Scrimieri. If I'm saying it wrong, which I probably think I am, please correct me again. She's gonna walk us through her closet, and mind you, this is filmed on iPhone. Nonetheless, it's still a very nice video, uh, and I'm excited to go through this with you guys. So, let's get started. All right, here we go. I'm the co-founder and fashion director of Basquiat. Today, I'm gonna show you a little bit, uh, a little tour of my closet, and we're gonna try some of my favorite pieces and yeah, go with me. So we are in my closet now and you'll see maybe let's just stop there for first. Just look at her apartment. Oh my god, like how beautiful is it? And we already can tell she's a very fun colorful girl uh, her fashion sense is definitely very out there very um what's the word fun that's all i can think of very expressive as well so i'm really excited to see her closet because she's a fashion girl like you can tell she's like the it girl i'm excited so let's keep going okay just by entering her closet First, she has a full room, which I'm, I'm gonna say it's a walk-in closet. Let's not say much, let's keep going, because yeah. <laughs> okay, for me, it has. And for example, if you ask- Okay, so I like that she pointed right away that her closet does not make any sense, because it doesn't make sense for me, and I don't think it would make sense for anyone else but her. I think she knows exactly where everything is, but as a closet organizer, someone that does this for a living, I think this is just overwhelming and I think she can find a better solution that doesn't have to be messy. And it also looks like she has um, like fur, um, rug or carpet, whatever, or cover or blankets that she put on her shelves um, for her bags and her sweaters as well. I don't know what's the aesthetic behind that, but hey, it works for her, so let's keep going. It is that jacket, I know exactly where it is. Right there. See? Okay, so she, like I said, she knows exactly that it is messy, but she knows exactly where her items are like a lot of people are like this i've realized a lot of people 
even if it's a mess to someone else to them it's organized because they actually know exactly all the inventory so all of their items in their closet which I think is amazing and it's great but I think you have to be functional which we're gonna get to further as we go in the video um, but I like the fact that she has clothing racks we can definitely elevate those in a more of a functional uh, way instead of just have, uh, having a bunch of rocks. But hey, let's keep going. I know everything. This is the place where I hide all my vintage t shirts. I'm going to show you just some of them. Like, for example, some of my favorites are it's one I bought in New York. This is my top favorite that I've had for so many years already, and I keep wearing it and wearing it so many times. So, one, uh, I kind of cringed because she kind of took her vintage t-shirts and put it on the floor, but obviously she doesn't care, so I don't care either, but I just think, let's love our clothes, let's just give it a little bit more you know, love and not just throw on the floor, okay? Um, the second, I like the fact that she knows exactly where her t-shirts wear. And also I like the fact that she says she wears this item all the time. And I think that's one of the biggest thing when I, I'm doing a consultation or I'm doing a closet organization for clients, I always make sure that we keep items that are actually being worn. We never buy in the future items. We never keep in the future items. We only keep items that are now and present that can elevate your wardrobe and you can definitely expand, but you have to be able to wear every piece you own in your closet. So I like the fact that she's like, I wear them all the time and she knows exactly where it is, but yeah. So my most sentimental item has been this shirt. It's so long. It's like this vintage Kelly, which is a treasure. I love, I love. That I bought in her. The, girl, the fashion girl inside of me, that Kelly bag, the color is exactly, if I don't get a Kelly bag in a black, I would definitely get a Kelly bag in a chocolate because that color is gorgeous. Although I probably, I don't think I'll, I'll be able to afford a Kelly bag, but it's a, it's good to dream. So, but that's a beautiful bag. Paris, I remember like about five or six years ago and it's a brown chocolate one. So a new designer that we just launched at Basquiat and I really love is Simon Miller. Every piece she makes are like candies, real candies. She makes bags, shoes, clothing. And now let me show Okay, so let's just go back to her closet. I like the fact that, you know, she, she you can tell she knows it is messy, like I said earlier, and she knows exactly where her pieces are. However, I think it's not a functional closet. And the reason why it is because if she had to send someone in her closet to grab something for her, 100% chances they would not know a damn thing or where anything is. And that for me is not a functional closet. Instead of her having, you know, those shelves, I think she can just have a nice shelving unit that can actually have her items properly organized and also will help keep them longer because throwing a bunch of clothes together and they are not breathing like on this pile of clothes they are not breathing and all these items and all these materials and colors are touching each other consistently and it creates humid um, and that's how you get stains and transfers of color. This closet definitely needs a proper organization system, but we're gonna rate this video at the end. So let's keep watching. First of all, I love the bench in front of her bed because Rattan is so big now and I just love the aesthetic of it because it's minimal, but that's beside the point. So let's keep going. After this lockdown, is this night look for a dinner or for a party? of the video here they're just going to show her personal style and how she styled pieces in her closet her favorite looks and so on and so forth um, but I like her style I think it's very uh, European in a way um, very 
a little bit of a trend but mixed with a little bit of a minimal minimalism but then also very you know colorful and playful yeah i love it ah! you guys that jacket the coat oh my god that is a beauty that's gorgeous i would rock that with the all white outfit or even a all black outfit it's such a statement piece so if you don't follow me on instagram you should follow me on instagram at essential styling teal because i do give out a lot of fashion tips uh, because i love fashion as well definitely follow me there if you want to come to build your wardrobe and have essential essential styling essential pieces <laughs> Another favorite item is this tumbler shirt made of towel and the psychedelic mushrooms. Let me show you my dream though first, the last item, and I would never take them off. I love them to wear them with socks, without socks, summer, winter. It's time to take a I am obsessed with her. I love her style. I love how it's fun, very expressive, doesn't take things too serious, but she's also a maximalism at the same time. I kind of dig it. I love it. I think it's very trendy. It's very bold. Um, she loves bold statement colors, and I think that is fun. Very opposite of what I am, but that's what I like about it. But let's go back to her closet. I don't think her closet is practical at all. I don't think her closet is functional, just because if you look at the beginning here, you can tell she has a, a shelfing on one wall. She has two shelfing, shelfings on the other wall. And also on the corner there, it looks like she has maybe a closet or like a nook. And she also has more items in there. One, I don't think she needs all the fur blankets. First of all, I think it's an aesthetic thing that she likes, which is great. But I think when you have a closet, you have to be very mindful of what you put underneath your clothes, in between your clothes, how tight your clothes are, because color does transfer and you get a lot of stains. You need your clothes to be able to breathe. And I don't think her clothes are breathing at all, which creates a lot of humid. When your clothes are not breathing because they're so packed all the time in piles or while they hang they're super tight it creates humid and that humid creates color transfers into clothes and you get your clothes ruined easily and she has a lot of beautiful expensive things i'm assuming and i think she wants them to last for a very long time so in terms of practicality and functionality practical i think we're gonna rate her closet a two out of ten only because i don't think this is practical at all. I think her having better shelving units on the wall uh, will do her wonders. She'll be able to see all her beautiful, beautiful pieces all the time in a much better aesthetic. Maybe she is renting this place. That's why it is set up the way it is. We can tell that she did not put a lot of thought into this closet. Um, she kind of just made what she had work with her which is fine but i think you have to still be organized if you kind of move over here she has her shoes on the floor which is a no-no for me i used to have my shoes on the floor and they collect a lot and lot of dust and those are not good because when you have a lot of dust uh, on your shoes then you have to consistently clean up your shoes which is just it's a lot of maintenance when i'm helping my clients organize their closet you always have to buy a shoe rack and elevate your shoes off the floor or shoe boxes and pull your shoes inside so that way they are now sitting on the floor and just collecting a lot of dust i like the fact that she has clothing racks i think that's cool but i have a clothing rack <laughs> but i think there's a much better way to have her jackets and her sweaters and like i can see here she has a lot of blazers a lot of jackets a lot of coats i think just maybe having two racks one at the top one at the bottom where she can keep all her tops up 
and all her bottoms at the bottom will do so much wonder for her she will be able to see all her pieces it's still gonna be a display because i think she likes that eclectic display way of closet uh styling or closet organization which is completely fine i love it too but i think there's a much better system that we can adapt in this closet the clothing rack uh organizational i will insert a picture here um this is a very easy one especially if you're renting because you can always take it apart take it down and seal the holes and paint it over and you're still gonna get your deposit back it's not a deal breaker because you can also tell she has floating shelves at the top and they are overflowing there is so many things on that wall there is books there's hats there's picture frames she can better utilize that space so in terms of functionality I don't think it's a functional closet uh, because she's the only person that knows where her items are and that's not functional because I always tell my clients if you can have a friend over and she can go in your closet and then she can dress herself up and shop in your closet then you have a very functional closet if you're the only person that understands your closet mind you the main goal is for you to have a functional closet that works for you but it has to make sense. Let's say you have to go somewhere. Someone can still be able to come in your closet, pack for you without being overwhelmed. That's a functional closet. I don't think hers is because she's the only person that knows where her items are and therefore does not make her closet functional. So I'm gonna rate her closet in terms of functionality, three out of 10. <laughs> just because I don't think it works. And the overall aesthetic of her closet, I give it a nine. I love the aesthetic. I mean, it reminds me of a fashion girl closet and I love it, um, but I just don't think it's functional or practical whatsoever. You guys out there, please let me know what you guys think. What would you guys rate her closet out of? in terms of practicality and functionality and the overall aesthetic of her closet. Maybe I'm being too harsh, but I think there's a much better solution or system that can be applied to give her a much, much better closet system that her clothes are gonna love, that she's gonna become obsessed with. That's it. If you guys have any other closet tours or videos that you guys have seen around that you guys would like to see my reaction, please, please, please leave the suggestion in the comment box below and telling me which closet tour reaction videos I should make next. If you like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that my video was entertaining and fun for you guys and they're gonna boost this video up and let more people find this video so more people can also watch it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as well and follow me on instagram at essential styling if you want to learn more tips and tricks and closet organizations and see all the wonderful pictures from clients until then i will see you guys on my next video bye guys